comes to Game & Watch are a sight to be seen. They're pretty real. But it never gets <laughs> unentertaining. It's always fun. FX memeables, I see you. Memeables, I yep. see you, Lunchy. All yeah. right, game right. one, kicking off here. Winner's bracket. Oh, my God, and Lunchman Doubles. just jumped up into two up smashes. He's going to start off with a pretty big percent deficit there. This is delicious to behold. So, all right, Ian, let's give him 101s. Dublays, uh, 101s. How, how are we doing this? All right, are so we look, let's talk about the sandwiches. All right, so the sandwiches are a big part. Honestly, uh, Meta Knight and Peach want to start off with Peach being in front and Meta Knight able to kind of rush in and just save if need be. Now, why is that? That is because Meta Knight, you know, he's got this, this fast start, these quick, meaty little hitboxes, these big break them apart kind of disjoints. All of his uh, all of his moves are uh, kind of wacky. Oh my god! They're pretty quick in between uh, between that down tilt between those nares. Uh, he has a lot of different ways to get in your face pretty quickly with some fast normals, right? That's true. And I mean, Game and Watch and Luigi kind of have the same focus. Game and Watch in front with his bigger walling aerials, and Luigi able to use his burst movement to just jump on in and smack down with like maybe a nair or a forward tilt. You know. I mean, the game plan, of course, is like you, you use some of these moves to kind of stifle out your opponents early on, right? Because you look at Luigi, Fair is at the top of your list. Nair is that combo breaker. Dare is like one of those. Dare is that big, meaty slap. Ooh. It's a great kill move. It's also fantastic for characters like Peach uh, because she can have a rough time dealing with it on shield. Oh, my God, the pan. Or was that the golf club? I couldn't tell. <laughs> All right, great save there from Lunchman. He is going to be able to refresh uh, his jump here, so he should be good to go. But I mean, now that you have these situations, though, you have some lighter characters that are going to be spending their time trying to get back onto the stage, or you have this time where someone is out being star KO'd, you have a little bit of extra time. You're trying to find those 2v1 scenarios, right? And you're trying to find mm -hmm. those setups, those grabs, uh, some sort of an initiation for free damage or stage positioning. Definitely. You want to start off just getting these 2v1s as much as you can. Here, we're going to see them focus down Jagged Cole a little bit, but Lunchman is able to come back and split things back up. Looks like we're going to opt for the two 1v1s here. And often there's a lot of ways that you can see people play out doubles where uh, sometimes we see two singles matches going on. In a way, yeah. A lot of the time, uh, you can kind of force that, take your strong player, you know, weed out the weak player with yeah. them, and then leave the other one to their own devices more so. Uh, oh, Lunchman goes down. Jagged Cole, does he have... No, the not use Tornado. Snaps ledge, though. Here's that. That's a great job grabbing that. But now you have this kind of predicament, right? Yeah. You have you have Meta Knight a little bit on a higher percentage here. And you, you have this ability to go a little bit hammered because you, you think about stocks like buckets. Yep. That is the Bobby Scar right there. Yes. That idea of how much you are filling up these buckets. And honestly, you know you're at capacity. You might as well go a little bit more ham and put more percentage on the board. It's an infinite bucket, man. Like, you fill it up until it tips over. Oh, for sure. And when it tips over, it's done, but you got maybe one or two more buckets. It's going to be all right. One big thing I'm seeing from Cole is uh, he kind of isn't going in in the sense that he's, uh, oh, all right, we're in the 1v1. He, he isn't is. taking the time to, like, go for 2v1s as much. Oh, my God. Ooh, okay. Great but, mash out of the stun on but that, too. If there's any matchup that I'm sure Lunchman knows, it's Meta Knight. For a while, whenever it was, uh, he was having his dominance, we're getting a little bit tired of PM. He had, he played quite a bit of Meta Knight. He knows this matchup yep. inside out, had the percentage advantage, just closed it out. Yep. Simple and clean. Caught him out. That's the way that you're making me feel tonight, Nebby. Mm. Mm. Shout outs to Kingdom Hearts. Great soundtrack. Shout outs to that trailer that dropped. Oh, way. my God. Toy Story? I wasn't ready. Lit. I wasn't ready. So good. It looks amazing. Oh, honestly. I can't wait for that game. Right. And to uh, throw my money at a PS4. Mm. That that needs to happen at some point. Uh, is Cole bringing out Mario? Uh, I mean, in a way, I, I suppose I could see him just like thinking, like, you know, do I really have to support Lunchables Roy and Doubles? <laughs> do I have to do too much? Oh, man. I'm looking at... I look at Meta Knight, though, and I... Okay, it's funny because... The, the stints that I, I end up leaving and coming back, yeah. every single time, Booker T has a new character that he's playing. <laughs> like, it's it's nuts. I came back, I was like, so you're still playing Zard? He's like, nah. No. I was like, no. who, who are you playing? You, you, oh, I'm playing Meta Knight now. Yeah, my boy Wait, Apathy. Exclusively? My boy Apathy is made... That was uh, Green Team. Green Team 1. You're welcome, man. I am just wearing sunglasses today and has <laughs> adopted a much cooler persona. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. It was green team. It was green team. It was green team. It was green team. It was green, green, green team. Kush, green tea. Kush money. No. All right. Kush roll glass full. I prefer the bed. Oh my god. <laughs> We're in there. Oh dude, I listened to Yipes commentary. Yipes is lit. Honestly, dude, yeah. 
That yeah. was OG Yipes, and that was that was like one of the first reasons why I was like, okay, I I, I want to try this. Sometimes. I want to commentate video games. I want I want I want to talk about video games. Oh, oh baby! No, he's gonna be able to get back on Meta Knight, being able to use that reverse, and Zach's gonna slide off, probably trying to mash out a down tilt, ending up with slide off down air. Buffering is kind of a rough mechanic in this game and can lead to death. Oh, no, there you go. Down strong. Yeah, Peach is one of the few characters that can kind of uh, deal with Roy's ability to to beat people in Crouch Cancel Wars. So when you Crouch Cancel against Peach, then you go and get 60% minimum. It's not as bad as it is in Melee, but still. Yeah. So oh. ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But yeah. coming back onto the stage, I mean, look, so, I mean, this is a good example of Apathy having that situational awareness of Jake trying to get back onto the stage, and he just comes in there, has his back to him, and starts punching out Ooh. and creating space for uh, Jake to land. Yeah. But, I mean, Jake is a doubles expert, man. This this is what this guy lives for. Jake is a big fan of doubles, honestly. Being, being able to use characters like Bowser, like Peach. You know, Peach is still an extremely viable character. Bowser... Has a rougher time with most of the cast. For but sure. In doubles, these characters they get to shine because there's so much less pressure and neutral for them. Dude, I remember like going back to like Jake and Rai having dude. like these insane, insane sets. Insane runs, dude. Jake and Freddy was a good time. I think Freddy said he was gonna come out tonight, but I don't know. He does. Is he here today? Yeah, yeah. I didn't see him when I walked in. He is, and yes. he, he has a haircut, and he looks. That's it. He That's looks really good. He looks really, really dude, good. Freddy's always been a pretty man. All right. Red team holding it down here. Jones was already on last stock. Uh, Jagged Cole still second, but mm. interesting. Yeah, we're looking because at it. when you think about it, you have two double specialists on each team, right? Now you got Lunchman. Lunchman, granted, one of the best in the world, right? Yeah. But he's I also somebody a, yeah. who didn't drop games whenever he paired with uh, Dakpo. Yeah, one of the best double team, if not the best double team in the world for PM. The way they both talked about it is uh, they forgot what teaming with other people was like. Great combo set. But uh, they forgot what teaming with other people was like and what it meant to have to not have someone always having your back. Because both of them knew each other so intuitively, having teamed together for you know two, three years at a time. <laughs> Just that raw call out on the way. Big Mario Fair. Oh, the Dunkaroo! <laughs> the Dunkaroo! <laughs> <laughs> that move's banned! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Great finish. Let's go. I mean this this is how we kick things off, right? Lose